So it's no secret that men, not just men, but everybody that has a tractor loves using their tractor. I don't know if it's the joy that comes from owning and using it or the sense of accomplishment from the productivity increase that a tractor offers. But until you've done a little bit of work on a tractor, there's really no way to put into words the feeling that it gives you. I guess you could kind of compare it to fishing while you're by yourself. That kind of fishing where it's not a real high intensity fishing day, but the kind of fishing where you're out there alone, maybe there's a radio in the background that you're not paying attention to, and you just don't care if you catch any fish. You're having a good time and you're enjoying yourself. But time on a tractor gives you time to think, time to tune out, time to be by yourself, get outside. At the time of filming this, it was about 20 degrees and you can see a few places in this video where the wind was about 20 miles an hour also. It was a pretty chilly day. Had to have my gloves off quite a bit to be able to operate the camera, which is just my cell phone. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I said, there's just something enjoyable about owning and using a tractor. Perhaps it's the fact that I grew up with my granddad sitting on the fender of that old John Deere 4020 as we went up and down brush hogging in the summer heat, old hot sun bleached fender. Maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe it's the later on throughout the years as I grew riding along with my granddad and sitting on the fender to whenever I was actually able to drive that tractor. I remember the first time I drove that tractor. He had me brush hogging about a 10 acre section of grass. It's a part of grass that he always brush hogged every year. And the sense of pride that I had, I was still a kid. Something about it, every time you get on that tractor, just makes you feel good. Something you always look forward to. For a landowner or a homesteader, a tractor is a force multiplier, no doubt. The attachments for a tractor are endless. The selection of a tractor is endless. The cheapest tractor you can find, maybe it's an old Ford N-series tractor or a brand new tractor with a cab, air conditioner, and a radio. All of the good stuff. It doesn't matter which one it is. They're a force multiplier. What would take you days to move mulch and wood chips with a shovel on a wheelbarrow? It's just a matter of a couple of hours with a tractor. Yes, you can maintain a dirt road with a shovel, a pick, a mattock, a hoe, and a rake. And as an end result, you'll get the same thing. But having a tractor takes a month-long project and condenses it to where you can get it done before lunchtime. I've sat on a tractor in 110 degrees and I've plowed snow on a tractor whenever it was minus 10 degrees. That big Texas freeze we had in early 2021 was one of those days. But no matter how bad the snow steams when it hits the back of your neck, as you can see, the tractor that I'm able to use was owned by my granddad. He passed away in 2020. It doesn't have a cab, radio, air conditioner. Heck, it doesn't even have a canopy on it. But snow stinging as it hits the back of my neck, or as I bake in the sun 
with all of the shade that a cowboy hat can provide. It's always a good time, no matter what. The dust, the bugs, it's just something you don't think about. I don't think anybody would make an argument about the usefulness of a tractor on a homestead. Not even a homestead, but just a, a hunting lease that you have. Food plots, yeah, you can get stuff to pull behind your four-wheeler or your UTV, but having a tractor just makes it so much easier. Post holes, I've dug many a post holes by hand, but taking a tractor and hooking up to an auger and getting that post hole done in 30 seconds, man, it's a dream come true. My kids, they enjoy the tractor also. My boy Austin, he rides on it right along with me, and he has for a few years. Hopefully soon, he'll be able to learn how to drive that tractor. I'll be honest though, I'll kind of miss the enjoyment I get from turning over some of the work done on that thing over to him. As stated before, it's a funny thing that until you have one, or you've rented one, or you've used one, you don't really understand what it is about it. It's something that you can't quite put into words. You can see I'm just moving some hay. It's not an interesting video. I could have moved that hay with a four-wheeler. I could have moved it with the side-by-side. -side. I could have moved it with my pickup. But like I said before, the force multiplication of a tractor, especially a tractor that has a front end loader, is unbelievable. Pallet forks move just about anything. I've moved down trees with the pallet forks. I've moved hay bales with the pallet forks. There's a wood pellet stove. All those pellets come delivered on a pallet. There's a steel building in my backyard. It was an old meter house that they used for gas wells to offer them a little protection from the weather for the instrumentation and things of, the, of that nature. I took a big ratchet strap, wrapped it around the, the building, stuck the pallet forks underneath it, set it down on a single axle flatbed trailer, tied it down, and moved it. It was just that easy. It just took a few minutes. I didn't need the tractor to be able to do that. A come along, a chain, is all you needed. It would have got it up on that trailer also. But I'd have been out there a long time. And I'd have worked pretty hard getting that done. You know, there's some debate on what brand of tractor you should get or what style of tractor you should get. Should you get a skid steer or should you get a traditional tractor? You know, like a utility tractor. What size tractor? You're the only one that can make that decision. For me, I need a tractor that has the ability to move 2,000 pound pallets with relative ease. With this tractor, you've got to put some ballast on the back. I've got a hay fork that hooks up to the three point hitch and I just pick up a bale of hay and move all the pallets I could ever dream of. Four wheel drive? Do you need four wheel drive in a tractor? Well, you don't need it. You can get by without it. But if you have the option, you better go ahead and take it. A cab? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and get the cab. It's going to cost you some extra money. But whenever it's raining, you're not going to get soaked. Whenever it's snowing and you hop off to take care of something, your seat's not full of snow and you're not soaking wet. You can keep tools in the floorboard because you always need some kind of tools. You can keep all that stuff in a cab. I wish I had a cab on this one. But it'll happen whenever God decides it needs to happen. 
You know, 90% of what this tractor gets used for is material handling. I use it like a forklift. I use it to move hay and pallets, and very seldom does it get used for something else. Behind that would probably be a tie between dirt road maintenance. And you can get out and you can grade a road with the tractor in, in no time at all, especially if you keep up with it. One thing to keep in mind about a tractor is, is they're easy to neglect the maintenance on. Every eight hours of use, you know, you gotta grease them. Anytime you plan on using it for any more than about 30 minutes, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and get the grease gun out. Fuel. A lot of the times your tractor fuel gets stored for a long time. Just keep an eye on that fuel. This tractor is over 20 years old, but as you can see, it's in excellent condition. That's the difference between a tractor that's been kept in a barn every night. So try to keep it covered, but you know what? Take care of that tractor, and it'll take care of you. Whenever you hop on a sun bleached seat, that says a lot for a tractor that's been kept in a barn, and the only time it's been out in the sun was whenever you were sitting in it, and it still made it out there under the sun enough to get sun bleached. They're gonna get scratched up. The paint's gonna wear off that bucket. So if you're pondering the thought of getting a tractor for your homestead, seriously consider getting a tractor. The first time you spread gravel on that driveway that's been a little neglected. The first time you put in that food plot for those deer. Or that 20 acres of grass that you had that is just looking a little too dry and you're worried about the fire. That brush hog knocks it out after work and you're home before supper time. Or at least home before de bedtime. Man, it's something else. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm Matt the DIY Prepper. And until next time, y'all stay safe.